Let me tell you a story about deliverance. Your deliverance may not come in the way that you thought it would come. It may not even come in the time that you thought or prayed for it to come in as well. You see, all deliverance, all freedom, and I ain't just talking about demons. I'm talking about freedom from addiction, freedom from pain, freedom from heartache, freedom from trauma, freedom from anything not of God. You see, all freedom and all all deliverance is for God's glory, not yours. That's why you can't always just go up to these people and they touch you. Because it may not be the time that God had planned for your deliverance and freedom to come. Because your freedom, your deliverance may be shown to people that in God's timing was meant to impact others' lives at that um, time. That's why a lot of the deliverance ministries won't tell you. See, the whole time I was on drugs, I was praying to God for freedom of that addiction. Freedom from the bondage. Freedom from the pain. And the whole time I was praying for freedom, my mom was praying for me to get locked up so I didn't die or or, or overdose or get killed, which was very likely. Just so happened the night my mom woke up out of her sleep was the, just so happened that the night about 20 something years earlier, my dad had got killed on the side of the interstate. At that same moment, I was delivering drugs somewhere and I got pulled over by the police. My mom woke up out of her sleep. I had been praying and praying and praying from freedom, from bondage, but it just seems like I couldn't let it go. You see, my freedom came with me getting in bondage and and locked up in jail. My mom woke up, she knew something was wrong, started praying. The moment she was praying for me to get locked up and, and, and to be free in a way where I was in chains, which doesn't make sense to you maybe, but I had a gun to my head by a police about to kill me when I was running from with the drugs, with the weapon. You see, it wasn't right then that I found my true freedom, but I found being incarcerated would lead me to my freedom. Your freedom may not look like what you want it to look like, and it's not gonna come in the time you want it to come in because it's for God's glory. You see, that whole time God was working on me and I got out from that incarcerated and I kept on and kept on until one night I was praying for freedom and then I told God to kill me and he allowed me to die from an overdose, but he woke me up that night and that's when I died in order to live. You see, it was in God's timing, in his season, not my own. That's why your deliverance all the time, them deliverance ministries can't just put their hands on you and tell you, oh, you don't have the addiction anymore. You don't have this and that because it's all about God, not about you. It's in God's timing. Everything God does, does is for his purpose, not your glory. It's when his timing and see it happened. So in that amount of time, I end up being free after God allowed me to go through certain things because he knew that was the time when I would have the most impact for his kingdom and his glory. All that time I was praying for freedom, really allow, he allowed me to go into bondage before I could ever be set free again. Your freedom may look like bondage at the moment of time because because it always gonna round back out until when he's gonna get the glory. And all that happened to till, till this day where I'm sharing this story with you at this exact moment because you might be struggling and you know your freedom is coming too, just from my story in God's timing.